A number of Democratic presidential candidates have proposed new taxes on the wealthy as a way to pay for other programs. But one of Senator Elizabeth Warren's proposals may have an unintended consequence. It may actually fuel divorces among the ultra-rich. Robert Frank explains. Some are calling it the million-dollar marriage penalty, and it could create a new incentive for the ultra-wealthy to file for divorce. Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax is a 2% tax on wealth over $50 million. Your first $50 million, don't worry, you're in the clear. But for your $50 million and first dollar, you got to pitch in two cents, and two cents for every dollar after that. Just two cents. Now, tax analysts say that couples with $100 million or less could avoid the tax by divorcing, splitting that fortune in half and putting each taxpayer below the threshold. A couple worth $100 million would pay a $1 million annual wealth tax, but if they divorce, they pay nothing. Now, a couple could even divorce on paper and still live the same lives in the same house since the IRS does not challenge legal divorces for tax reasons. As Greg Mankiw of Harvard explained, the Warren proposal entails a $1 million a year marriage penalty. He said the divorce loophole is one of countless ways the wealthy would gain any wealth tax, generating far less revenue than the $200 billion a year that Warren is projecting. Now, one of the economists advising Warren on the wealth tax, Emmanuel Saez, told me they could shrink this loophole by taxing single taxpayers for any wealth over $25 million. And he said that 80 percent of top wealth holders are married, so they have not yet focused on the issue. You can bet that divorce attorneys are certainly already working on it. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Robert Frank.